What's going on you guys? Just wanted to bring you a video highlighting some of the quality of life features in ASA that I think we will all enjoy. Now let's get into the video. Starting off here, let's get into the building structures of things. Uh, no longer do we need to deal with pillars to lower our foundations. You can simply just lower them yourselves. As you can see, it's pretty easy and simple here. Now let's uh, move on over here to our next topic. Um, something I'm very thankful for that they finally put into this game and that is whenever you accidentally pick up the wrong structure, instead of get destroying everything, it all gets picked up with us. As you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this foundation piece and then boom, there it is. Everything's back into my inventory. Now, one cool feature they added to, into the game is that we only had to build a wall. From there, we can easily, you know, change it from a door frame, to a double door frame, maybe a, a window, it just makes everything nice and simple. Now let's go ahead and just uh, let's turn this to a double door frame. Okay, there it is. I will say one thing that it looks like it seems to snap a lot easier in ASA compared to ASC. So finish these walls off. Let's give itself a door. And I will say also that it looks fairly nice. Now, if you remember from ASC, you used to be able to build two ceilings out from foundation support. But here in ASA, we can actually build out three. Now, this is gonna be a big game changer for, say, saddle platforms or building on rafts. Now, I'm not the greatest raft builder, so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. But I'm gonna to try to show you here. If I can just get this placed correctly. I just got lined up just right out as far out as I can go. Wait, and right there. All right. Now let's put three this way. And then just fill up the raft, going back. Bada boom, bada bang. There we go. Now let's get our ceiling pieces. And like I said, we used to be only go two out. And now on ASA, we actually go three out. And let's go around here and start filling these in. And, whoop, looks like I forgot to, uh, I need to get more ceiling pieces here, so hang on a second. All right, let's go ahead, there we go, boom. All right, let's add some more. I mean, you can clearly see how large we can already make these rafts. Like, it, it's extremely <laughs> noticeable how big it is. Like I said, I just want to show you how wide you can make it. Um, I know I'm not going to go into full detail of making an actual raft, but as you can clearly see, let me uh, go into K mode here. It, it's, it's pretty wide. As we make our way over to our Quetzal here, I just want to show you uh, exactly how big you can make this platform saddle, uh, just like we did the raft a second ago. This thing is just absolutely massive. Uh, looks like we can't put the last ceiling piece here. Uh, I guess You know, let's just go ahead and take off this whole row because I'm not even sure if it's gonna be able to fly now Because it's partially in the Quetzal's head so Let's go ahead and take this whole layer off here And I think we should be good <laughs> This is just absolutely absurd you can seriously have some massive sky quetzal bases with this.
Next thing on our list is the cooking pots. Now, we no longer have to go on Dodo Dex or whatever third party app you're using to look up the different recipes or figure out what you need for different colors. Now everything is all simple. It's all in the cooking pot. You see exactly what you need. And there's a lot more colors to choose from than we had what we had before. Now speaking of colors, we can now color anything. Anything and everything. No longer do we can only paint doors and walls and foundations. We can literally paint every little thing along with the regions as well. Something else you're gonna notice is that the colors are no longer in your inventory. They're actually under cosmetics in a separate different tab. And the best thing about it, it does not count any weight towards your character. Now I'm just going around changing the different color regions on the fly here with my paint gun. Now I'll go ahead and pull out my paintbrush here and we'll go ahead and select the regions individually here and use, let's go with the orange. I like that color. You know, we can change, you know, the smithy here, same thing. We'll change the region four to orange, just five, six, any color, let's do six. All in all, this is just a great way to like personalize your base. Finally, do we no longer have to deal with piping? All we gotta need is a water intake, put it right up into the stream. Obviously, you're gonna see there is a nice blue barrier of how far the water can reach. And we'll go all the way to the edge here. You put down your little spouts. As you can see, it's flowing with water, you're good. Now, if we go ahead and step out of the blue ring, I put it place another one down and no water. So that's how far I can reach, but there's a way to work around this. If your base is a little bit farther away from a little water stream, uh, what you're gonna do is, let's go ahead and pick up this water tap and you're going to place down your water reservoir. As long as you have a blue arrow, that will symbol that you can still collect water. Now let's go ahead and put down our second water tap. And there you go. Showing that we have water. We're good. Now same thing with the water intake. If you go to your reservoir, you can actually turn on the range and it'll show you how far this extends. Same thing with the water pipes. We no longer have to deal with the electrical cables. All I do is place the generator down Go ahead, you see the show the range. It's pretty massive. And let's go ahead and add the gasoline, turn that on. And let's go to our fab here. You're gonna notice that I can instantly turn this on without gas. As long as you have gas or it's powered, either way will work. Now, one of the coolest things I think the ASA has brought is the dedicated storages. They now have this wireless transfer from dedicated storages straight to either your fabricator or your smithy. No longer do you need to move items around, toss them around bases and everything like that. Just put everything in your dedicated storage and then as you can see, uh, well, it looks like we're missing some fiber here. Um, that is because I accidentally turned it off while testing. So just go here, turn that back on and then we'll go back over here to the smithy and as you see, let's go back to the flag, and boom. Now we can go ahead and craft some, voila. Last thing here I wanna show you guys is that we now have three different size teleporters. We have your small, medium, and then obviously your large for your big dinos. Uh, of course, still needs to be powered by your tech gen. So let's go ahead and place one down. All right, put there. I also got to put some 
element in it. And as you guys know, it still has a wide range, same as the other generator. Um, and I've checked, you cannot change the radius. And it's stuck like that, so it is what it is. I don't know if I agree with it, but. Now, when you go to use the teleporters, um, you notice that when you go to the small one, you have the option to go to the medium or large. But you're gonna notice here in just a second that when you're at medium, you can only go to large now. There's no option for small. And then obviously we go to the large, go to teleport, and now we can't teleport at all because we can only teleport from large to large. You can't go down. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.